there's just some new controversy with the uh, Speaker of the House, Greg Fergus, and I believe this is the second or third time now that there are Conservatives who are basically calling for this guy to resign because of basically being partisan, and House Speakers are supposed to be in the middle, so let's see what they have to say. This is from Global News, by the way. Greg Fergus has been Speaker barely seven months, and he's already facing his second call to quit. For the good of the institution, of Parliament, and the adjourning interest of the House of Commons, I regret to say that the Speaker must go. When will we put an end? Conservatives were upset enough last month when Fergus became the first Speaker in history to eject an opposition leader. Mr. Poitier, I have to name you for disregarding the authority of the chair. But even before that, Fergus had come under fire for several other instances of what critics said was partisan activity while he was the Speaker. As being Speaker of the House of Commons. He survived one vote of non-confidence only because the New Democrats sided with the Liberals. I've made a mistake. I would, I apologize for this make, mistake. This time, the issue is an online event notice, billed as a summer evening with the Honorable Greg Fergus. It invites fellow Liberals to discuss, among other things, how Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives propose reckless policies that would risk our health, safety, and pocketbooks. The notice was taken down. A spokesman for Fergus said it was published in error by the Liberal Party, and the party itself issued an apology to Fergus. Good enough for the PM. Well, I have full confidence in, in Greg Fergus as, uh, as uh, Speaker of the House of Commons. And good enough for the NDP. The Liberal Party of Canada owes an apology to the, the Speaker. Uh, the Liberal Party of Canada has shown profound disrespect by publishing that. That NDP support will allow Fergus to survive another confidence vote if it comes to that. But what if there's a third or a fourth? As a Bloc Québécois MP said in the House today, there are still 150 MPs, all of the Conservatives and all of the BQ, who have no confidence in his ability to be Parliament's neutral referee. Donna? Oh, I... Well, yeah, I mean, how could you have confidence in someone to be the neutral referee when he literally puts out a notice that says, fellow Liberals? I mean, there's been rumors ever since seven months ago that he, that he got uh, that position that he was liberal biased, and People would defend him and yada, yada, yada. Well, now there's no defending it. How can you have a non-biased, partisan Speaker of the House? It doesn't make any sense. They're supposed to be down the middle. They're supposed to be not conservative, not liberal, but just they're there to basically referee question period, right? Make sure that either the language is parliamentary, even though that's, you can question that as well. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to you know, just make sure that each... Uh, MP gets their time and get to ask their questions and the other people get to speak. They're, again, they're just a referee, right? So, and if you are a referee, <clears throat> right, and you're watching a hockey game, or if you're watching a hockey game, right, and the referee is wearing, wearing the same jersey as one of the teams, you're obviously going to think that there's a bias within that referee because there is. That's why referees have different jerseys. There's That represents that they're on a different side, the middle side. They're there to call the game as fairly as possible. Greg Fergus is not doing that. And of course he's not going to resign because he just got there. That would make him look very bad. And of course, once again, the Liberals and the NDP are sticking together and making sure that they can't uh, force him out. Because you can force him out with a vote of non-confidence, but they won't allow it. So... You know, it just shows the lack of decency he has as well, right? I mean, if, if you're going to be like that, you're you're tarnishing the name of what a what a what a house speaker is supposed to be. Now, every time another house speaker comes in, there's going to be this question: Well, did they hire another biased one? When the conservatives get in, do they are people going to say, "Well, hey, you know, the liberals pulled off a dirty trick getting a liberal house speaker"? Are the conservatives going to do the same thing? Yeah, maybe, and I hope not. I mean, a political, what, what politics has become, it's, it's just become a clown show. I mean, it's just, it's nothing but bipartisan. It's nothing but attacks from both sides. Now, if you're the opposition, you kind of have to attack more because you're exposing the problems. But this has all started, you know, really with the Trudeau government. I mean, he's used unparliamentary language for years now, and he's never been kicked out once. But when it comes to Pierre Polyev using the same kind of language, he gets kicked out. That's a 
clear, clear bias. So I don't know about you guys. I actually put out a poll here. Let me just uh, have a look. So earlier I asked so a couple hours ago, should House Speaker Greg Fergus resign for being partisan biased? 135 people, 99% said yes. That's a very low sample size, of course, and I appreciate anyone who uh, is partic uh, participating in these polls. But, I mean, yeah, not, not looking very good in terms of the opinions of the average Canadian. And again, of course, it's a very small sample size. But even if that, if that gets, you know, 500 to 1,000 votes, it's not going to change much. It's going to be well in the 90% of, yes, this guy needs to resign. This isn't fair. So that's going to be it for today's guy, uh, video, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, we just also hit 1,000 subscribers. So, again, thank you very much for each and every one of you. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can continue to grow this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys shortly.